welcome back to the channel Soapsters and in today's video we're looking at using avocado within our soap and the first thing we have to do is actually get our avocado prepared and the way I like to do that is actually cut the avocado in half all the way around the stone that's in the middle using a relatively sharp knife and then twist it in order to expose that stone. Now we're going to use the heel of the knife here in order to tap the stone, a little twist and it comes out and that's how you get this stone out of the avocado. Now this avocado is really nice and ripe and what we're just going to do is scrape out all of the flesh and we're actually going to weigh this um, and we're going to use what we call a water replacement for this uh, avocado. So it just means that the weight of the avocado we're using, we're going to balance that out with the amount of water we're using within our lye. Now, because I use a master batch lye solution, um, we'll take the amount of avocado that we're using. And if that happens to be equal to or more than the minimum amount of a master batch I'll use, um, I'll just basically use the correct amount of master batch lye solution, which just give me a little bit of extra um, liquid in there. I like to kind of process my avocado into the oils. Um, this A stops it going brown too much, and it also means that you've got, um, you can get it really nice and smooth using that um, immersion blender. So it's just the blender I use for making my soaps that I'm whizzing that into. Now, this soap itself has ventilated green clay uh, and also green tea within it to kind of boost those green um, notes. So here we go, we're adding um, the French ventilated clay. And again, this is going into the oil. And what I want to do is give this a little while to absorb um, some of the oil because this is this is going to actually move quite quickly because of these additional ingredients. Um, so I want to get everything nicely hydrated before I then um, go and add the, uh, the lye solution into it. And here we have our matcha powder. Matcha powder is green tea powder. Um, and it works very, very nicely in soap. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add my um, lye solution. Now you can see that the oils here have turned quite green and that's because I've allowed everything to kind of hydrate within the oils um, and we've got this really nice kind of green colour. Now you'll notice that as I stir it, some of that um, avocado is coming up and I have given this a really good whiz. I'm going to just make sure that I, I combine this very, very well and just make sure that it all comes together. Now it is going to turn a little bit brown and I don't mind that. The idea of these soaps is their quality and the ingredients for skin loving properties are what I'm focusing on. And I'm not quite so worried about the colour of this one. So once we've got that all together and it's come to a relatively nice trace, I'm going to pour about three quarters, maybe a little bit more, just to fill this little mould up here um, until it is filled virtually to the top. And then what I'm going to do is anything that's left over, I'm going to allow everything to set up a little bit. I'm going to come back and we're going to actually just pipe the remaining of that soap on the top. So we've got a little bit more of a piped design on this one rather than a, um, a flat bar. So let's just get that down there and we'll allow this to set up. Now, I think this took me about 30 minutes to get to this position. And you can see now that that soap within the um, jug here is actually holding itself up. It is it is able to peak. I'm just going to fill up a little plastic um, piping bag here just to put it all into there. And this will allow us then to pipe the top. Now, I always use a little scraper to scrape down the soap within the piping bag to get rid of all the air that's in there. And this just means that I get um, I don't get any of those kind of like puffs of air that come out with your um, with your soap and maybe spray it everywhere. It's just a really nice way of making sure that everything is down into the bag and it's not going to kind of come out and spray out everywhere. So once you've got that together, we then just push that so it pops out the top. And I'm going to give it one little test on the blue scraper. And then here we go. We're just going to pipe little dots all the way along. We do a three, a two, and a one down the middle. And that's our soap done. And here we are onto the cut of the soap. And as you can see there, um, we've lost a little bit of the green colour, but that was always going to happen with these soaps. And all I'm going to do is slice this one up into some nice thick slices. Um, and really, that is the avocado soap. Now, as I say, I like using avocado both within um, facial soaps, within um, soap for the shower. I also use it within my shaving soap. Um, and I really do like that the lather and the luxuriousness that having that avocado in there does for you. Plus, you've got the matcha, um, which is a lovely kind of of. Um, ingredient to have within soap. Again, it's got some really skin loving benefits 
And that ventilated French clay is, again, another skin-loving um, ingredient to have within a soap. So this is a really nourishing, beautiful soap to use, beautiful soap to have on the side. It may not look the greatest, but it certainly will do your skin the world of good. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow and allows me to make more videos and tutorials for all of you. When you subscribe, don't forget to click the bell icon if you'd like to get notified when a new video is uploaded. And thanks a lot, Soapsters. I'll see you again next time.